Oh, Benji! <gasps> there you are! Howdy, y'all. <laughs> it's Emily and Benji. Benjamin. Benny. Okay, I, I just got done recording the chapter four. Um, and no, I have to know what happens now. <laughs> Immediately recording the next part, I'm just, I'm still like in shock. So we're just gonna keep riding that wave and we're just gonna hop straight into the next bit. Like, I, I have to know what happens. Like, this is insane. We're not, <laughs> all gas, no brakes, let's go. Next chapter, let's go. <laughs> I'm like in a hole. I'm in a hole. I have to be alive, right? Huh? Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? What? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? This has to be like a... Like a dream or something weird, right? Because there's no way we went back. I'm gonna say not to be afraid of my emotions. I learned to let myself feel, I guess, and to not be afraid of those feelings. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? What do you make of that friction? I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a sweet boy. But Alex... You're right back where you started. No, this is like a dream sequence, obviously now, right? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say you're wrong. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Oh no, this is fucked. What the fuck? Oh my god. Am I in hell? These don't belong to Dr. Lin. A tuning peg. Ooh. How did I even get back here? We're happy though not surprised that Alex has been <laughs> has once more submitted herself into the stolidifying and an inescapable embrace of our institution. Ooh. What the shit? I guess that's me. Case number five, three, three, two, two.
There's a tape recorder. Emotionally instability, emotional instability, occasional violent outbursts, hallucin hallucinations, visual hallucinations, oral, oral, oh, like aura, oral. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Delusional ideation, depression, anxiety, diagnosis. Thrown down a what? Al experiences a detailed and robust illusion that she is able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of this ability, she is equally, uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony of someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting the role of an emotional caretaker. Had she not been returned to my care, I, don't, I do not think it's... Uh, it, I, oh my god, I can't read. Um, hyperbolic dis... Ooh, what the fuck? I do not think it hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless, her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually, would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It's my belief that Alex's delusion, delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being, as well as those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit. What? Her body shattered against each jutting board, an erratic, er, an errant brick until she's forgotten in the darkness beneath the world. This is, in my professional opinion, the most humane thing we can do for her. <laughs> oh my god. This is fucked. Um, wait, is there anything else to look at? Oh, now it's me. Is that what I look like? Really? Oh, she's fucking losing it. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Um, Alex Chen? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. What the fuck? Huh. Dr. Lin always recorded our... Uh, records our sessions. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. What the fuck? Seems legit. Oh wait, is my case number 53322, is that what it is? Nice.
the fuck? <gasps> oh my god. She's fucked the fuck up. Was that from the gunshot? <gasps> oh my god, something stopped her. Oh. <laughs> she landed- Wow, she's so lucky. How the fuck? <gasps> oh, please be careful, don't let it break. No, she's dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. How is she living? How is she surviving that? Alex. Oh god. Gabe? I died. <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where okay. are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Definitely a hospital. Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Huh? Ow! Gabe! Why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Whoa. Oh, we're like acting their age or something. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. Oh my god, what is going on? Uh, there it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. <laughs> we couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Gabe? Alex? I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be different for a little while, but I am going to be okay. She knew. Even then, she knew. It was always too hot in this room. Uh oh, you can hear like the fucking She's ventilations. Just on the other side. I'm kind of scared.
Like, how am I living? Oh my lord. Give me. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom, every time I saw her, I worried it would be the last. Hi, Mom. Damn, this is rough. <coughs> <coughs> Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Wait, what? Why am I why am I back? Did I do something wrong? <sighs> Alex. Go check on your mother. Huh? Okay. I'm like in an endless loop. What's going on? Wait. Did I miss something? Oh, water. That's different. No matter how much Mom drank, her throat was always dry. Tissues. I'm not, I'm not missing anything, right? Huh? Right? No. Um. Oh. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. Probably is, but... Okay. Hi, Mom. Get her some water. Matching. Sorry. Thank you. You almost never cried. Even when you were very Oops. small. Did you know that? No. That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> oh. 
<laughs> her veins. Shh. No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. <laughs> Will you do that, Alex? <laughs> yeah. Brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? <laughs> huh? What's happening? <laughs> I still can't believe Jed pushed me. <laughs> he didn't push me, but he shot at me. Oh my god. Where am I now? Where am I? <sighs> what happens if you sign the affidavit? I have a lot of questions. Was this her childhood house or something? Okay, we're we're just really trapped in the past right now. Oh my lord. How do they get into the foster care system? Is the dad alive? Oh my god, Gabe. Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I think so. Do you miss her? Yeah, duh, right? Gabe, what's going on? You're dying, honey. You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth trying to defuse us both. Dad's home. Why am I scared of the dad? This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. Yeah. 
That's interesting, though. I wonder what song is playing. <laughs> I wish there was like subtitles for the music that plays. It's kind of weird that it doesn't do that. Alex? Hey. It's okay. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? What happened? Did she lose her shit? my job to keep the peace but no matter what I did I tried so hard to keep my promise to her dad's laundry I always set it here when it was done so he could find it at least I managed to hold on to you, Shu Shu. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Hmm. Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of universal for like so many house households, right? Like just using leftover cookie tins to put stuff in. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. I do the same thing. Do y'all keep your like birthday cards and shit? I feel weird throwing them away. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. I can't believe they were ever this happy. This household's just fucked, you know? Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. We never really touched these after Mom died. She was such a good cook. It's so funny. It's like sriracha. That looks like a hoisin sauce thing if I've ever seen one. Two <laughs> cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. Yep. She's not wrong. Almost empty. Almost always. I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. Hey, Gabe. I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. We got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Is your dad home? Oh, gosh. You know what? We were... Yeah, that, that was like, um, rehearsal. And I'm in this play at school, mm. and my dad, like, he was, um, helping me learn my lines. Must be some play. But if you need anything, my number is on there. Okay? They knew. Can't go up. Okay. Oh. When wasn't this place falling apart? Okay. Well, let me see. Record player? Nothing 
Danny to open the door. Gabe and Dad were so loud when they fought. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat? We can sell some records. Or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about Mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't fuck. fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> Oh, man. I can't do this. Dad? Did he run out on us? Is that it? Someone will come. That <gasps> fucking coward. CPS. Oh, Alex, she's like too good. Dad. I'm sorry. Holy hell. No. Uh, no. Dad. Damn, and he just fucking left. What the fuck? <sighs> this is fucked up, this is fucked. Why did I fall in that fucking shaft, brother? I'm so worried about my body. <laughs> Man. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? I kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12, I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. 
I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. <sighs> Play my part. Damn. B -b -b Guess I missed a few days. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamsters' heads. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Damn. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. <laughs> Hence, stupid. Well, there are my strings. Where's my guitar? I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. We're not going anywhere. God, they put me on so many meds. Yeah. Oh, man. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. In their defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Looks like one. Looks like, like an Maybe asylum. Maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. Glass and silver are to remain in the canteen. No re non-resident guests are not permitted. Lights out at 9 p.m. every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. Oh my god. Lame. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. You really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kinda think you already know the answer to that question. Okay, I think I did everything. This is so creepy. Oh, man. Why are the frames so bad? I'm s scared. Am I just supposed to wait here? Oh. 
She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. This here, she's sensitive. What is that? This is a lot. I wonder why she's never found a home before. I'm sure she's a sweet girl. But she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something off, <laughs> broken, wrong with her. <laughs> Sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. <laughs> You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Yeah. Fight. Yeah. Let's go. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. Get up. Get up. Get the fuck up. Where am I? How far down am I? Did I fight all Did I fight all the way down? How did I live? How did I live? How am I alive? No, there's got to be something broken. How? Explain. Wow. Don't waste it. Don't waste it, don't waste it, don't waste it. Hurry, act, work fast, fast. Okay. How is there still gas in that thing? Jesus, H. <sighs> K. 
Can I even walk? Bitch. Uh, I'm so stressed. Oh, hey, Benny. How is she walking? I've got to find a way out of here. Oh my god. I guess this is as fast as I can go. Jeez. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Oh my god. I can't believe I got fucking pushed. Down a shaft. I didn't get pushed. Mines growing into mines. Just like Jed said. Fucking Jed. Straight to jail. Straight to jail. Straight to jail. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Okay, the fact that there's a dead rat means that there's nothing down here. I'm gonna choose not to read anything into this. Yeah, I did that for you, sweetie. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Okay. How long has this stuff been down here? I really need some help. No, it's very sus. Like, someone would try and find me, right? What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on, no, 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 no. I can do this. I can do this. No, but the way I would be so scared. Okay, that's something. What? How did that even happen? Did her eyes just adjust? I don't know. That aura is the only lead I've got. True, but let's walk around a little bit more. <laughs> As I can kind of see shit. Now we gotta go towards the red scary light. Oh, so excited. And she doesn't move any faster when I do that. Uh, this is scary. Does she move a little bit faster? I can't really tell. All right, boys, getting close. Helldivers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Is this what, like... Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. Wait, did he actually save those people or not? We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there! They'll drown! Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. 
Everyone, let's go! Now! <coughs> so you let those people die? It smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. I'm scared there's gonna be like dead bodies in there or something. Right? I'm scared. What's in there? Why is that there? Huh? Wait, was was the dad working there? Whoa. Dad! Come back! Dad, you son of a bitch! <gasps> Chen, you gotta stop, man. It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Whoa. And that's why Gabe went to Haven Springs to find his dad, right? And dad was working at that mine. Oh, this is all so fucked. And we're alive, we made it. Jesus Christ, what are we gonna do? This is Alex. You got a big storm coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nope, this is so fucked. I can't. <sighs> I wonder he doesn't talk about it. He probably feels ashamed. And they like bought him off. He gave gave him the black lantern so that he wouldn't say anything. And he ate it up. He went for it. <gasps> oh, this fucking sucks. And during my time here. I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. Mm, they're fucking worried. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Oh my God, we're gonna bust in. I'm so excited. Thank you, Diane. Oh, I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Oh, oh motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit. Somebody help her. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, fucking Jed. Oh. <laughs> Alex, oh my God. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? <sighs> oh, th this will be hard to hear. No, we're all hearing the truth right now, bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? <gasps> I found out something you need to hear. 
I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> oh my god. Uh. Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. <sighs> and so has Jed Lucan. Oh! Alex, what's going on? <gasps> the son of a bitch. I'm gonna say fuck you. Fuck you. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. They're ruthless. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Dude, look at me. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I'm not embarrassed. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was... Obviously, a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your Punch brother her. was your only family, wasn't he? Ooh. I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. Ah. <gasps> oh my god. I'm just like thinking about like they're gonna use my medical history against me. They like know that I uh, yeah, have a troubled past and shit. Oh, yeah. The fact that Judge is like, what are you talking about? I want to throw up all over everyone. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. Dad, do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? He's no. gonna deny it. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. That's what I thought too, bitch. Till you shot All me. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. How dare you? I think I need to be, I need to bring it down a peg. I'm gonna say you're lying. This is an act. You're lying. 
please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. What's Ryan gonna do? Oh my god. I would like to speak. I'm s someone needs to help me though. <laughs> this young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, <sighs> her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Ah, oh, dude, and if if Charlotte Ducky, had the anger, you're being unhelpful. Alex, sweetheart. You know our mind can play tricks on us. Oh, come on, Eleanor. None of it is your fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But it's always better in the end. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Oh, I wish she had her anger now. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. Oh, what are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. Fuck. Shit. I can't help you. <gasps> I'm sorry. No, we should have let her just take it. I'm so fucking pissed. Can I bring it? Can I give it back? Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes. We went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. None of us have time for conspiracies. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? I know your game. I know Don't how you... test me, Jason. <laughs> you know what? Huh? I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you. Not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from- cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up with it. I think you better call it. No, I would like to speak again. It concerns me that a voting member of this council has openly admitted to a personal bias this is a I'm really sorry. Shit. I don't believe this. Is ridiculous. Are you? Fuck! I'm not your lap dog anymore. Deputy Pike, I am Why are you doing this? You feel in your oh no! You know, My dad is not a murderer. <gasps> Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? Bro, no. I thought we were in this together. For Gabe. Bro, I should have went with Steph. <laughs> For me. I thought you cared about me. Oh, uh, can you please go ape shit, Alex? Please. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan! After everything? Seriously, fuck you! Yeah. Stop. Oh shit. 
What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? What's happening? I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He was a screw up. <laughs> he made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was starting over. Haven was his second chance. He was so proud of who he'd become. A great boyfriend. A cool dad. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I was starting to feel that here. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Look, he's so guilty. Look at his face. Forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? A coward. Or a pawn. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife. Saying it in front of your son. 
every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. Shit. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. Holy fuck. He's got a snap. What's he gonna do? I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. Okay, how do we want to approach this? I mean, fuck, he tried to kill me. But he just needs to face the fucking truth, and I feel like... I don't know, I feel like he would... I feel like she would forgive him, though. Because that's just kind of how she is. She needs to... Fuck, I can't believe Ryan, the way he reacted. I'm so disappointed in him. I'm going to Steph, Steph next. I'm going to Steph. <laughs> regret. <laughs> the regret. Steph has my fucking back, bitch. I thought, I thought Ryan would have my back. I was like, he's always there for me, but not when it mattered most. Fuck. I'm gonna say I forgive you. Like, I feel like he needs to break down his walls. I feel like that would break him. I feel like he would just fucking snap in half. Be the bigger person. And I forgive you. <laughs> oh shit. Feel bad now, Ryan? Bitch. So fucking pissed at him. In the doghouse. Golden Retriever, get the fuck in the doghouse. <laughs> yes, we broke down the old man. Jesus. I feel like I'd want to get out now. What, what does she do now? Ugh, she needs to just run away with Steph. And the news is still coming in on the type in mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven type in employees as their manager 12 years ago. Nice. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right- How the fuck? Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. How long has it been? <sighs> Bitch, I cannot even- After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Ah! 
Oh my god, who's hitting me I've up? I've got some continued support for you. Gross. Ah, <gasps> oh, I'm gonna go to the record store. Wait, she's not leaving. Do is she? I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Huh. Okay. The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. It never ends. Okay. Now oh, that's old. He's just like fucking faking it. That's so insane to me. <sighs> I'm so sorry I worried you all. Fucking Jed. I bet Steph wishes she could reward that, but it's pretty funny. I'm, a, I'm a blah, 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 blah. Hey man, so we aren't like a band as such, so. <laughs> My muscle is Alex. <laughs> Why is it bringing me back to the tap? Okay, one more. <laughs> Ryan got one. Fucking Ryan! Disappointment though. Disappointed? Disappointed! Oh shit, everybody's texting me now. We're writing a story. Oh, I'm really not comfortable talking with you right now. Okay, yeah. Stop going to the tap. Maybe I could save those for later. Hey, Chen, didn't think you'd actually take down Typhon. You're braver than I ever imagined. Now you owe me a new job. I'm glad you're okay, really. <laughs> okay. Art there? Who's that? Oh, wow, everyone's trying to... Ah! Rude, he just kept asking. When did you learn that your father lived in Haven Springs and worked with Jed Luke and how did it feel to learn that Jed Luke was responsible for... Dude! So unprofessional. Tad knows what's up. Oh, cute. What happened? You're, you're, 
You weren't gonna mention being a superhero when I texted you today. I'm so glad you're safe. Aw, Ethan. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Me too. Is your mom doing okay? I'm worried about her. She's fine. I think it's my turn to take care of her now. Maybe that's weird, but I'm pretty sure it's true. <sighs> I feel I feel bad about Charlotte. I feel like that was not the right decision to make. <laughs> You needed me, the one woman who should have believed you above everyone, and I failed. It's okay, so take care of yourself and you and Ethan. Charlotte? What the fuck? Wait, where in, where's Ethan? Five twenty-eight. Okay. No, Ethan says she's okay. I'm like, bitch. Aw, you've been through an awful lot these past few weeks, but your resilience and courage continues to astound me. I have no doubt that you will weather this affront against your person with the same grace as you've demonstrated to me during your lovely dance at the Spring Festival, a moment I will not forget. I'll not soon forget. So please remember that we are here for you. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister the Third. Aww. I know Ducky was a fucking hero. Ryan disappointed the fuck out of me. Alex, please pick up. Just let us know you're okay as soon as you can. I'm pretty sure you just lost your phone, but Ryan's freaking out. Okay, we're both freaking out. We just want to make sure you're safe. Call us. Alex. Oh god, they're all freaking out. Call me if you need anything. I know. Thank you for having my back. It really did mean a lot. Disappointed. <laughs> oh. Alex, I'm sorry. My dad was a hero. That's what everyone said for years. And it took so many lies to hold that up. Disgusting, terrible lies. Typhon lied. Dad lied. And worst of all, I lied to myself. Even when the truth was right in front of my eyes, I believed him over you. I'm so sorry. If you're willing to see me again, we're able to apologize in person. I mean, it, it is kind of fucked up because... It is his dad, so it's like, <sighs> oh, and he's only known me for like a few weeks, so it's like, it kind of makes sense that he would be like, what's going on? But also, <sighs> I don't know, it's all fucked up. Like, I feel like I'm going to forgive Ryan. Like, I feel like I'm in that direction, but eh, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't be with anybody. <laughs> I feel like I should just be single. <laughs> okay, let's read this. I got good at describing other people's emotions in this book. Even new emotions, complicated ones. I could push through the mystery, find the words, but I don't know if I can do that here. I know that something in me resonated with something in Jed, each hooking into the other drawing us together i saw it in him and it was like walking into a house he used to live in seeing what someone else has done to it blazing self-hatred so bright you can't even let yourself look at it the sheer knowledge that you spread rot to everything you touch the rigid feeling the role the routine the lines you mem mem memorize memorize and regurgitate to keep yourself from succumbing to the pull and looking at the truth. Maybe that's why I forgave him for all of this. The heat and the force of his loathing required me to face my own, like two magnets of the same polarization, pressing each other backward. The bullet, the fall, the hospital, the house, the orphanage. Is it weird that I feel grateful for them? Grateful to Jed for giving them to me? For however accidentally pushing me to look at my own self-hatred and come out of the other side. <sighs> yeah, honestly, a lot. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. That's really fucking sad. I love this guitar, but if it starts asking me riddles again, I'm throwing it out the window. Not done yet. I've been playing a lot the last two days, trying to think. 
think things through. But I realize it's actually the opposite. When I'm playing is the only time I get to not think. Not think about Jed or Gabe or Haven and wanting to move on from the pain but not knowing how. Most of all, what I don't think about is me because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's left. So, I just keep playing. I wish I knew how to play guitar. Oop, I feel like I was just getting to a good part of the strumming. Sorry, we got things to do. We got boys to slap, AKA Ryan. Just, he needs just like a smack to the face, I think. Sorry. But he kinda does. He had it coming. I haven't spoken to Ryan since the vote. What am I even supposed to say to him? We fucking smooched. What's wrong with you? Ugh. They say I was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now, I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil. And these. Name drop. I felt very close to Ducky after our dance. I guess he felt the same way. Was Charlotte's response all my fault? Or would she have turned on me no matter what? That's what I want to know. I gotta see other people's playthroughs, man. Good thing I sold off all my Typhon stock. <laughs> oh wow, nearly halved. That's I'm crazy. I'm pretty sure my voice was already heard by everyone who needed to hear it. Is it weird that the part of this that bothers me the most is nondescript dive bar? Jeez. I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is, is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truth. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. I'm glad he held on to it, for whatever it's worth. You told me to destroy this jacket after the accident. I couldn't do it. Perhaps some of me knew that I would one day need it to pass it along. When Gabe first stepped into my bar looking for his father, I swore I would one day return this jacket to him then i swear i return it to both of you i think you know by now what my word is worth i do not deserve your forgiveness but it moved me more than i knew was possible i hope this gift will provide some small comfort to you in the days ahead jed oh wow it's like her dad's bomber jacket you ever swing a pick before mr chen john and no, but I, I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Chad must have thought he was seeing a ghost the first time Gabe walked in. Nothing like being called delusional by someone you trusted. That one really hurt. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. See? This is why I try to only read the art sections. <laughs> Wow, Jed be in prison. 
He fucking deserves it, dude. Typhon deserves to go down. And the corpos. Let's go. I'm proud of Alex. I'm proud of her. She really fucking did it. Oh, shit. I would be so weird living Maybe in I here. do deserve some dollar sign justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. The LARP was two days ago. That doesn't seem possible. Oh, it's only been two days? Girl, what? I thought it would have been surely like, she's moving around so well. What the fuck? Oh god, who is it? I'm so fucking nervous. Oh god, it's Ryan. Ugh. I'm so sorry. I know. What you said, the truth about my dad. I, I couldn't accept it. Maybe I wasn't strong enough. After everything he did, you still forgave him. I didn't know it was possible to be that strong. And it gives me hope that maybe one day I can be that strong, too. Thank you, Ryan. That means a lot. What about us? Do you think you could ever forgive me what I did? What's I'll try? I feel so betrayed. <laughs> no, but like what I said, like I get it. I get, I get it. It's like literally his dad. And yeah, I mean, everything seemed really legit. I thought he was my dad too, bitch. I almost want to say I'll try, which I feel like is like a very weak option, but like there needs to be something rebuilt here. I don't know. I, I truly don't. I'm almost so tempted to just say I forgive you because like, um, if I can forgive Jed for shooting me and making me fall down a mine shaft. I think I can forgive Ryan for, you know, believing his dad over a girl he met like a month ago. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say I forgive you. I already do. You face something horrible. And for a moment, you turned away. I should have known. Maybe deep down I did, but I just couldn't accept it. But it's out now. And as horrible as it is, we don't have to face it alone. We have each other. Nah, so, I think he... What's next for Alex Chen? I guess I'm asking because I'm in. I mean, 
whether it's here or anywhere else. If you want me, I'm there. Damn. I mean, that's nice. She, I feel like she deserves a happy ending. Ah, I kind of wish I said I'll try because I feel like he didn't. <laughs> I'm very curious. I'm like trying to put myself in the situation. I'm just like, what would I do? I feel like I, I feel like I would need more time. It's only been two days. I feel like I would need more time. I'd be like, I don't know if I'm ready for anything. <laughs> ah, but I just want Alex to have a happy ending, you know? Uh, I'm just going to say thank you. That's really sweet, Ryan. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm not used to getting to decide what I want. I guess I'd better think about it. I guess so. You know where to find me. I'm also glad we didn't like kiss or anything. Like too soon. I'd be too like too soon. Don't kiss me. <sighs> what now? Where's Steph? Should have chose Steph. Now I feel icky. <laughs> All right. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Ryan made a strong case for why I should stay in Haven. The idea of making this place my home. It seemed nice. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. I, I don't know, I would be tempted to leave. Like, th this is like a lot. I would be very superstitious. I'm like, this this town is fucked. <laughs> like, well, I mean, there's there's some good things that happen, but very bad things. <laughs> like, they're good things. Like, everybody's really nice, but really fucked up shit happened. I feel like that's a lot, but uh, I'm gonna say, really? You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, People who actually like you? True. Why would you give that up? That's true. Good point. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. Hmm. I know. Same girl. But here's something. What? Where are we going? It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. Ryan approves. 
Life goes on. Okay, what's my other option? You go back to work, you settle into a routine. Oh, ducky. The light's going. And one day, with almost no warning, Steph up and bolts town. It hurts. But she does offer you a going away present. Her job. You take it. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Oh, that sounds really nice. <laughs> Are they going to give me another option? I'm going to have to choose. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me begin to fade into the background. Damn. I didn't even notice the guns on the wall. What the hell? <laughs> it's like there's supposed to be music playing here, huh? He is fucking cute. Stupid. Stupid boy. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world, Or maybe Stupid you never boy. think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. Look at her. Bigger, bigger crowd. Oh, it's getting really dark. Hello. There we go. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question oh, it. So pretty. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. 
but you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? Gabe, my boy, you're gonna make me cry all over again. <sighs> okay, right now I'm like leaning towards staying in Haven. Like why would they just show me the whole little montage of my perfect little happy life? You know? <laughs> I feel like we've it really does feel like a little safe haven here I mean despite everything that happened like there's some like really good people here but I don't know I feel like it would be like interesting to see her start over oh man I don't know I feel like both, th both, both, both would be good for her, you know, like staying in Haven, there's like so much history here, like already, and it really is a nice community and you kind of like cleaned out the, the rot, lack of a better word, the rot. would like to see her like live her life and like do something else like she is so talented but she's still so young like why can't she just like stay in Haven for a few more years you know and then maybe bye bye up and leave oh fuck god don't know I'm leaning towards staying in Haven I'm leaning towards it but I think I would probably leave. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, shit, you have it all figured out, though. You have good friends, but stuff's gonna leave. I guess that's, like, the one downside. Damn. I feel like if I was with Steph, I would be like, let's go. Let's get out of here. But since I'm with Ryan, I'm like, oh, I gotta play like the fucking small town housewife. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. I feel like seeking adventure would be like living for me and then staying in Haven. Like the fact that it's like hovering over him, it's like almost like living Gabe's life a little bit. And then like seeking adventure would be like living for myself. Oh, it's hard. Oh, fuck, it's so hard. Kind of thinking stay in Haven. Cause I I feel like yeah, she like always has wanted to belong somewhere. Like I feel like her character would like latch on to this. Like she has something good. And she's never had that. She finally has it. And it, yeah, it would be like crazy to me for her to just be like, okay, let me just try and find something different. Because there's like a good chance that it's like not what she expects. You know what I mean? And I feel like she already has something so good. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to say stay in Haven. I'm really curious to see what people picked. 
I know what I want. Oh, Gabe. That was really sad, actually. Oh. Oh my god, it's so dark. <laughs> it's actually so dark in here. I need to turn on my lamp. No, I need to. I'm still watching, I promise. There we go. I mean, it's so pretty here. You know, she doesn't have to stay here forever. Just for now. Is there supposed to be music playing? Definitely. <laughs> I'm like, this feels weird. <laughs> it's because there's no music playing. He's at the end. Yeah. Damn. Speed, 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 speed. Speed, 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 speed. Okay, I guess we could talk about my thoughts on the game. I thought it was really good. Okay? All right? I thought it was mighty fun. Mighty good. Okay, like the whole... Let's think, let's think about this. So Life is Strange 1, I feel like the dialogue... It's really hard to go back to that dialogue because somebody said in stream, like when we played it, if it, it feels it feels very much like like two thousand two thousand like fourteen like Tumblr girl like <laughs> like that's kind of how the dialogue is like oh my god so lame like that kind of shit you know what I mean which is silly right and then. Um, but her power was cool. The stakes are really high. The twist with Jefferson was crazy. Like, the, Life is Strange 1 was a, a really good game. But there was some, like, drawbacks. I feel like with these games, they're, like, a little slow when you're doing, like, you're exploring stuff. I feel like here it was less overwhelming, though. Like, here it was there was, there was a lot of stuff to look at, but I feel like not as much as the last two games. And then um, Life is Strange 2, like, again, I really like that game. I know a lot of people are, like, kind of meh about it, but the stakes were very high there as well. I feel like this the stakes weren't as high. Like, I feel like we, we definitely put ourselves in the situations most of the time. But the twist was crazy at the end, too. Like, I feel like it was a really good story. And I've never cried. I cried so much during this game. It really, it really got me in multiple different ways, like with multiple characters. The characters were great. Like, I feel like this is the best, the best characters we've seen in Life is Strange. A hundred percent. Just all, all very good with like little flaws, but they were more good than bad. Like, I feel like when I look at Chloe, for example, I'm like, and Max, I'm like, they both kind of like suck, right? They, they're, they're good. They're good characters, but they pissed me off so much sometimes. I'll just like, oh, you guys are, I mean, they were teenagers, but you know what I mean? Um, and then I don't know, like 
these these characters were were good. They were very very good. <laughs> Stephen F. Austin is Jed Lucan. I don't know why that makes sense to me. A guy named Stephen F. Austin just just sounds like a guy that would play Jed. <laughs> I feel like that's like a, a a figure in Texas history, but I can't remember what he is. <laughs> Um, I swear to God, we have, a, we have like a middle school named after Stephen F. Austin. What, what the fuck? Anyway, I really enjoyed this game. I really, really did. And I hope you guys did too. <laughs> I, yeah, man, no, this was, this was really good. I feel like this, yeah, I, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, but let's let's speed this up. Okay, let's see what everybody chose. Most people stayed in Haven Springs, but it was pretty 50-50. Okay, cool. Most people forgave Jed. She learned to not fear her emotions. Most people picked that. Ah, oh, man, I wonder how you get everybody to to back you. Man. Some members, I was like most people. Yeah, that makes sense. Pretty even. Help people in the future, belong somewhere. I took time to reflect on the bed. Um, damn, I wonder what happens if you're like not dating Ryan or if you didn't give Ryan the rose or whatever. Like, does he just not come and see you after? Like, I'm just, like, curious to see how that whole, like, vote plays out, you know? Like, if he stands up for his dad still, and does he just, like, bail? Because, like, most people didn't see him. Oh, wait, 31% stood by Alex during the vote. Oh, interesting. I wonder if it's, like, the reverse. I don't, I can't, I can't see Steph, like, not standing up for me. Mm. Most people, Charlotte turned her back on Alex. Fuck. If she had her anger, she probably would have backed me up. Wow. Why did, why did Eleanor fuck me over like that? Damn. Yeah, Pike sided with me. So it was good to, like, take his fear away, but maybe it wasn't good to take Charlotte's away. Her anger. Ducky sided with me. Fuck you. I was surprised at that. I'm like, Ducky's been at that bar for a very long time, so. Probably because I helped him out with the whole Tabitha thing. Yeah, most people... Got uh, the Ryan that believed in Jed. I wonder how you get him to believe in believe in you. I'm surprised he didn't take my side because we like made out or whatever. Okay, we start dating. To be okay. Don't get together. Steph and Alex don't get together. It's all pretty spread out. Huh. Oof. Oof. Okay, guys. That's going to conclude this part, this playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Life is Strange True Colors as much as I did. I, I thought it was really good. Um, was very impressed. Um, I feel like I was... I don't know. I think I'm happy with most of my decisions. I feel like some of them, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, damn, I wish I did something different. Um, like... Uh, yeah, like, after the whole, like, Ryan thing with Jed, I was, like, kind of disappointed in him. And in that moment, I was like, maybe I should have been with Steph. The fuck? Um, <laughs> but there's, like, you know, Ryan's still a good guy. Like, I get why he did that, you know? But I was still like, what the fuck? And then, um, yeah, like, the whole thing with Charlotte, I don't really like how that went down. But I feel like everything else was 
was pretty pretty good. I feel like I was I made pretty good dis decisions. <laughs> Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. It helps the channel out a ton. And if you want to keep up with any other playthroughs that I do, my Mass Effect playthrough is still ongoing. Um, I'm going to be playing Until Dawn with my sister pretty soon on stream. So if you want to catch that live, definitely follow me on Twitch. Uh, the link will be in the description down below. Of course, I will be posting that playthrough to YouTube. So if you do miss out on the live stream, don't worry. It will be here for you guys to watch. Um, but yeah, that's all I really had to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on another playthrough, hopefully. <laughs> Bye, guys!